Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very fun one. I think I have, let me count. I have 25 plus summer book recommendations um, for you guys to read this summer. I am just gonna get into this video because I feel like I have a lot. I'm gonna start off with one that may not be that fun. I'm gonna, I tried to do kind of like every category, kind of, not really. Um, but this was my attempt of adding a self-help book. I think Atomic Habits by James Clear is just like a clean book. It fits in the winter, like around New Year's, but it also feels good like in the summer, like starting a new routine in the summer. Um, I actually read this in the summer the first time I read it in 2020, and I thought it was the perfect book um for me in that time so i definitely recommend this if you're looking for a self-help book i have a series this is technically ya so ya i have the percy jackson series i don't know why but greek mythology to me is just a summer thing i don't know why i actually have a few more greek mythology books and maybe i'll recommend those next but i I think it's just because that's when I've read those books so I just associate them with summer but all of the books just kind of scream summer to me and the Percy Jackson series did the same thing. I love this series. I read it for the first time ever last summer which I know is crazy um, but these books are very good. The movies not so much but they did come out with a new casting for the TV show so that's pretty cool. I'm just hoping that Logan Lerman is going to be Poseidon because I'll be really sad if he's not. Since we just talked about Greek mythology I'm of course going to be talking about the song of Achilles. I thought this one was so good. I love the writing. It was definitely harder to read. It is about a war. Um, but again, I read this during the summer, so I just associate it with summer. I truly enjoy this book. If you love Greek mythology, of course you have to read it. Madeline Miller's writing is beautiful. I actually also want to recommend Circe. I actually haven't read this one yet. It is my goal to read this this summer, hopefully. I would like to read it, and I know she's coming out with, I think it's a Persephone in Hades retelling it may that may be wrong but she definitely I feel like these are kind of historical fiction is that what you consider these I'm not sure because it does go off the true like a Greek mythology but there is like it's easier to read for us common folk I guess I I definitely love Song of Achilles and I'm excited to read Circe um, so yeah, so I have another series. I have a Call Me By Your Name series. Um, this is actually a two book series. This was made in a movie. As you can see, this is a movie cover. And I actually genuinely enjoyed it. I don't think the second book, Find Me, is necessary to read the story, but the setting is just in Italy and it's so gorgeous. Like it's in the summer and I really like the setting. There is like the whole age thing that could be an issue and also if you want to watch the movie there's army hammer um so there's a lot of things but i did enjoy reading this during the summer and i would recommend it find me like i said it's not necessary i think it follows, it follows elio's dad and kind of his love story and then it also like kind of gives us an epilogue of where um the two characters are so that's my next right next i have two of my favorite books i'm so excited about them and this author just came out with the third book actually and that is casey mcquiston's um red white and royal blue and then one last stop i really enjoyed these two books i read them during the summer again i think they're such light easy reads one's women who love women and then the other one's men who love men and i really enjoyed both of them she actually just came out with a young adult novel my dog's at my door you hear like if you hear my dog, he's here. He says hello. Um, but I was talking about Casey McQuiston. She just came out with her first YA novel, at least from what I know her first YA, and that's called I Kiss Cher Wheeler or something like that. And I definitely want that book. I haven't bought it. I'm kind of trying to be on a book buying ban because I have so many books that I need to read. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed both of these. I actually prefer Red, White, and Royal Blue. I don't know why. It was the first one I read by her. Next, we're going to jump into like literary fiction slash historical fiction. Two I have are by one of my favorite authors, Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have two really good books. Vincent seems to really look excited about these. This one is Daisy Jones and the Six. I really love this book. I feel like everyone loves it. There's going to be a show coming out um, with Sam Claflin, and of course, I'm super excited about that. And yeah, I love Taylor Jenkins Reads. I think all of her novels, you could read all of her novels in any season and they would be great. This one just particularly fits the summer vibes. Of course, Malibu Rising is the ultimate like Taylor Jenkins Reid um, summer novel because it's set in Malibu. They're surfing, there is an epic party and it's just the definition of summer. I actually read this last summer and 
it was perfect because I wanted to go surfing and I it was like a perfect beach read. I will say her novels are definitely like historical fiction and so if you're not wanting that maybe don't try Taylor Jenkins read but I personally really enjoy her. I'm pretty sure you consider these literary fiction and that is Eve Babbitt's um, LA Woman and then Sex and Rage. I, I haven't read LA Woman, I actually got this while I was in the UK. So I have no idea what it's about but I'm just assuming like LA Woman probably fits summer vibes, I'm sure it does. And Sex and Rage is definitely a summery type book. It's about a girl that goes in between New York and LA. And she's a writer and the writing is just so fun. It kind of reminds me of Sally Rooney where there's like it's just like miscommunication it, there's no real like plot it's just about the characters and that's definitely not a bad thing i love it so i'm super excited to read la woman just because i know i love sex and rage and i'm also sad because sex and rage seems to have like this hot pink color and i'm like that's kind of cute but yes this is actually i think this is considered like mystery romance i don't really know but that is where the card had seen i'm actually conflicted to recommend this book because of recent like things that i learned about this author but there is a movie coming out and i i really did enjoy reading this book i read this in december of 2020 and i like i said i genuinely really enjoyed it and i'm excited to see the movie and taylor swift came out with an original song for it so it's like more info about this i would definitely look into it i already had it purchased so i'm gonna keep it and stuff like that but it's definitely up to your own discretion okay next we're gonna get into all the romance wrecks i know you've been waiting for them and our first one is by colleen hoover i only have one by her but again she's like taylor jenkins read where you could read any of their novels and it would fit any summer or any season but this one i know is a beachy like setting and that is heartbones this is actually on my may tbr i haven't read it yet i actually just got home yesterday so i'm still adjusting and everything like that um but this will be one of my next reads and i'm super excited i heard it's not as much as a romance um but colleen hoover always has a little romance so i'm assuming there is some romance super excited about this one this one i have is by l kennedy this book wasn't exactly my favorite but it does fit like the summer read easy read and that's good girl complex this is what i believe to be a duology it has a second uh book coming out in 2022 fall of 2022 and it's called like bad girl reputation so kind of like a play on word i watched someone's description of this book like and they said it was a mix of after with another book and i can't remember but it was a perfect thing where it just felt like it had been done before and i would completely agree with that statement i also feel like this book didn't get much hype when it came out and maybe there's a reason for that i loved the off-campus series from l kennedy and so that's why i picked this one up and for me it's not the best but i do like if you were looking for an easy read for the summer good girl complex next one i haven't read yet so i don't know if it's bad or good but i actually purchased it for the summer and that's called the summer of broken rules i actually have no idea what it's about when i get a book i personally i may read the back of it but i usually just start reading it and i don't know if that's weird but if i see a book that i like I probably already heard a few things about it and so I never like know what I'm getting into and that's exactly what this book is going to be for me but it literally has summer in the title so I'm recommending it. The next one I have is Taylor Swift came out with this love Taylor's version for this series so I'm very excited she's come out with she's she's really working in the, uh, the movie industry um, but that's the summer I turned pretty series I have never read the series this will be one of my summer reads i want to read it before the show comes out in june so early june or late may i'll be reading these i'm excited they're very small books i've heard a lot about this series um about grief it's also romance it's ya so i'm a little nervous to read it but they they are very small and i think i'll fly through it so i'm not too worried but this author is also the author of to all the boys i've loved before and i have watched the first movie one of my friends that i went to high school with bailey she really liked all the boy or to all the boys i loved before i remember her reading those while we were in high school so i i should actually ask her if she's read these because i wonder if she has any opinions but yes this one is emily henry um i am bringing out the whole trifecta because oh my gosh emily henry is a god this book i read by her is beach read and um i haven't actually finished book lovers so as of right now beach read is my favorite one from emily henry 
her books are romance yes but they are almost like literary fiction because you okay down there the romance is very significant to the story don't get me wrong but it feels like a mix of literary fiction and romance and i love the literary fiction part of it it has my heart and then last summer i read people we meet on vacation i really liked it i rated both of them five stars i just really related to beach read more um i thought this one was cute i just thought the mis the reasoning for the issue was just like it didn't make sense to me so that's why i didn't like it as much and i just started book lovers today so i'm only a page into it not actually i'm a chapter into it so i don't know i think i'm gonna really like this one based on things that i've heard about it people i listen to for reviews have really enjoyed it so i'm sure i will so i'm super excited about that but yeah i love all her books they're all so cute and all summery they all fit the summer vibe and so immediately like if you're looking for a book recommendation for the summer start with emily henry please i had read this for a book club and that was rock the boat by beck dory stein i didn't like this one as much as like emily henry's but i still enjoyed it it was a good beach read it's a romance and i thought it was cute it was also like almost literary fiction where you see a lot of character development in personal life not just in the romantic sense and I do, I can, I can really appreciate that in a novel. Also, the cover is just super cute. Like, what? Last two books I have are from Christina Lauren. I have, of course, The Unhoneymooners. I read this last summer. I actually enjoyed it. Um, apart from, like, the subplot that happens, I thought it was weird. I don't know. I didn't enjoy it though. Some people love this, some people hate it. I am recommending it. The next one I have from Christina Lauren, and this is actually her last book, is The Soulmate Equation. I'm pretty sure I read this like last August or something like that in the summer. It's a cutesy romance. It's kind of like um, fake dating. It's definitely fake dating. I don't know why I said it's kind of like it. And I also love the sciencey aspect of it. I thought it was really cute. Um, and yeah, that's our last book rec. I think that was like 28 books for you guys to read this summer let me know if you have read any of these if you're planning on reading any of them and i will just be reading a lot this summer so thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time peace and love bye guys